Hi guys, long time no see. Thanks so much for watching. Today I'm going to be doing a review of an Amazon brand called Hepidem. I know, it's new to me too. I've had these for a couple of months. I'm just now getting around to doing a review, but these are some acetate sunglasses that are gentle monster dupes that I found for $30. So, I think it's a really good thing. I know you might be thinking, Kristen, I don't really want to see any, you know, Amazon sunglasses. Step it up. But, I really think I've got a good one for you today. So, I can just open out this little file cabinet style <laughs> case. Why are you struggling with me? I think you'll really enjoy it. If you want to see it, please keep watching. Finally got it open, thank goodness. But now that I'm in here looking in the bottom of the case, I forgot what I had had in here, but it came with a protective sleeve, two temple sleeves, of course the other one over the lens, another plastic sleeve over the whole thing, and then it also came with a label on it, on the temple. So that was a nice little touch. And then inside the actual, you know, actual case, which is a little magnetic closure rectangular number, you also get a cleaning cloth. And I thought this was really nice. I still haven't opened it. Um, but the brand name is printed really cleanly and clearly on there. And it's a nice durable, I mean, it's really durable for the price. And the case is too. It's like a kind of a microfiber felt sort of feel. It's sturdy, it's not cheap at all. Really impressive. What I like to do from time to time is a specific search on Amazon for sunglasses under $50 that are acetate. So I go and in the search bar, I type in women's acetate sunglasses and I set the filters for between 25 to $50. And I know that seems like, are you really expecting to find good acetate sunglasses under 50? Yes, and I do. I have lucked out numerous times and I found some glasses not only under 50, but always right around the $30 mark. And I've been really surprised with the quality over the years. I've done a couple of brands. They may not have lasted and their stock may not have always stayed like replenished, but I feel like I was lucky enough to be there at the right place at the right time and still got a steal. And they're always really well built sunglasses. And so I'm just happy about it. This was one of those things. Um, this is a brand that it seems to be a Chinese brand. Um, they have like a couple of different storefronts and their Amazon one was really kind of impressive. They make a lot of um, eyeglasses, but I saw in the sunglass line at least eight or nine styles that look like General Monster dupes. And at the time that I got these, there was like at least seven or eight others. And now a couple of them have sold out, which is a little bit of a bummer because I was going to go back and get them, believe you me, but uh, they're gone. However, this one's still up and a couple of the others that I actually might, you know, still go get are there. Now this is meant to look like uh, the Tomy model from Joe Monster and it's uh, extremely similar. I think it's nearly exact. The only thing I think is a little bit different is this is a 54 millimeter lens width and the original is like 53, 53 or 53 and a half. I don't know if Hepidem does uh, slightly different dimensions like just so because of the, you know, so the styles aren't exactly, or if it's just the way that there's like template is, I don't know. But um, it worked in my favor because this is just, it's a little bit bigger and it, it just fits me a little bit better. I wanted the original version, like the authentic version of these, but I didn't know if they would be too small. Oftentimes when I want something really bad that I can just feel like it's not gonna look right on me, nine out of 10 times it really doesn't and I have to end up returning it. So this was a perfect, perfect way to try this out without spending like $300. And um, I am just extremely impressed. I'm gonna go ahead and put them on real quick again and just talk about the comfort. It is amazing. I They came straight out of the box. They were extremely well set. Um, the hinges are really smooth. Uh, they sit really well on the face. It's just, I couldn't have done it better myself, I don't think. In here we have these um, several barrel hinges. I think there's about five, but it's these hinges I always love. I think they've got quite a bit of copper in there and it seems to really resist corrosion. They stay shiny. They don't have any sort of cheap coatings on them. They're amazing. I love them so much. The lenses are, um, I think they're just category one. It's printed here somewhere, but they're significantly dark. I mean, they're really nice and dark and uh, give me a lot of protection. They're flat lens, so there's not no base curve at all, and but just like the Gentle Monster glasses, they do sometimes look like they could be mirrored, but they're not. It's just a flat, dark gray, solid lens. 
um, but I absolutely love the way that it looks because certain lights, certain light situations make it look, you know, different ways and give it a little bit of an edge, but um, it doesn't create any weird patterns when you're looking through or when light hits you from the back if you're in a car or something. There's no um, sort of reflection that kind of throws you off. Just to mention, when I first got these, and I'm going to insert a picture, when I first got these there were uh, stickers on top of the lens, both the front and the back side. And it was like a peel off situation, except there was no tab to peel it off. It was scary because I thought I was going to scratch the lenses just to pieces. One lens, it peeled off a little bit easily and the other four sides were like ridiculously hard. I had to use my nail and like really get in there. I was able to get them off and the lenses must be really sturdy because there was no signs that I had ever struggled like that. So um, I'm not sure if I just got a limit. I do think it's really good that they put the protective seal on the lenses. I just don't know why it was so tight on this model. Probably maybe heat, like the hot and cold of the different seasons and it just created like an extra sticky seal or something. Um, why am I always thinking about the science behind things? Moving on. These again are just extremely comfortable. I feel like you can wear them higher, lower. They're not too heavy, but they've got a nice acetate weight to them. Um, everything about them, extremely comfortable, well worth the price. I mean, a steal, as I said in the beginning. Um, I just really couldn't be more happy with them. I would recommend this brand and I will continue to buy their glasses for as long as they keep making them. Also just wanted to say, I was not asked to do this review at all. I've never even been in touch with this company. I just came across them on Amazon that day. So um, these are 100% my opinions. I'm just lucky it turned out good that I could do a pretty much a rave review. So, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Again, I'm, I'm doing the thing again. <laughs> okay, I meant, I think I need to do one more intro with these because I was filming the uh, backside of the tripod, <laughs> not myself, so that's great. And I'm, what am I trying to, well, hold on, what am I thinking? I need some chocolate now. I like to, from is that are under, you can't just do that. Mm. Um, really good. I don't think you need to do this again. You don't need to do it again. You did it the first time, just edit yourself. You may be up all night, but just do it.